Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you some of the best note-taking apps on Android, more specifically the ones that can be used with a stylus for writing. First of all, a disclaimer, best is kind of subjective, so I'm actually going to show you my favorite apps instead. And my preference is towards the simplicity of the app and whether or not there is any cloud syncing so that you can store your notes online. Okay, so let me go through the best one first, Microsoft OneNote. By the way, I'm just going to go through the key features of each app. I won't be able to talk about all the features. So the main thing about Microsoft OneNote is it's a free app and you can create several notebooks and each notebook can have a limited number of pages. What I like about this app is it's simple to use so you can actually type on the virtual keyboard to include text but in this video we are going to show you how it writes. If you like to write with colored lines, there are four shortcuts here with different colors and you can customize the colors. There are two highlighters here. OneNote is able to capture my handwriting style quite accurately. By the way, I'm using the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 which comes with the S Pen, so there is pressure sensitivity and palm rejection. Palm rejection works perfectly on OneNote because this app only detects pen input. If you use your fingers on the paper, you can zoom in and out, move the paper around, but you will not be able to draw anything on the paper. So that's fantastic. If you need to erase, you just have to click the side button on the pen to erase. If you want to change the paper, you can do so. You can change from root lines to grid lines or you can hide the lines. You can also change the paper color. Notes are stored locally on the tablet and if you have an account with OneNote, you can actually store your notes online. This is great because it's going to back up your notes and you can download your notes onto your other devices such as your phones or your computer. Nabo is the next app that I want to show you. This app can convert your handwritten notes into editable text and it does so in real time. This app is not free unfortunately, but the main selling point here is it can read handwritten notes quite accurately. Even for words or letters that are quite challenging to read, this app is still able to recognize those words or letters. So for example, here you see this word convert I wrote in cursive. So C is joined to O and N is joined to V and this letter R is not that legible but here you see is able to read that word perfectly. If you're happy with this conversion, you can click here to convert the handwritten notes into editable text that you can edit and search. The notes can be backed up online to Google Drive or Dropbox. The next app is Bamboo Paper that's made by Wacom, the company that makes graphic tablets. I like this app because it mimics the traditional physical notepad really well in the sense that there aren't many features. This app is free to use but to unlock all the features you have to, well, pay. So let's see what you can do with this app. You can change the cover to different colors and you can change uh, different paper types so I can change it to root but um, to unlock all the different colors and the paper type um, you have to pay but the basic root and blank pages they are free to use. Some of the pens are locked away I cannot remember which ones because I paid for the unlock years ago. Anyway I do recommend paying for the unlock because it's a one-time purchase. Wacom Bamboo Paper is able to capture my handwriting quite well. There is palm rejection as well as pressure sensitivity. The one thing I really like about this app is the simplicity. Things I don't like, um, it doesn't have perfect palm rejection. If you have a Wacom account, your notes will be saved online. If not, it's going to be saved in the tablet. Palm rejection unfortunately doesn't work that well here because the app takes input from the pen as well as from your hand, your fingers. The next app I want to show you is Incredible Pro. There is the normal version which is just called Incredible that has limited features. The Pro unlocks all the features. The lines here are a bit thicker than what I want so let me just reduce the thickness. 
Let's go for five point. By the way, this app, it doesn't support pressure sensitivity. So the thin and thick lines that you see here, these are actually styles applied by the software of the app. This app has good handwriting capture. Palm rejection works flawlessly because this app only takes input from the pen. So you can use your finger to write and nothing will appear. You can use your fingers to navigate around the page though. You can clear the page or delete the page. And this is where you can change the type of paper. There are several options here. They even have graph paper and calligraphy paper. Music paper as well. And to back up all the notebooks and folders, you can sync them to the cloud. It uses Google Drive. The last app I want to show you may or may not be available on your tablet or phone. It's a pretty good app because it can capture my handwriting quite well. It has pressure sensitivity and it has perfect palm rejection. So in addition to writing with the S Pen, you can also type in text, you can also paint. The difference between paint and writing with the S Pen is when painting, you have access to all this virtual paint media. When writing, you have access to these writing pens and pencils and markers and you can change the thickness of the lines. You cannot change the thickness with the painting tools. And if you want to, you can add your favorite pens. For example, if you like to switch between certain colors, you can add those colors and the thickness of the pens here. With Samsung Notes, you can convert handwritten notes into editable text as well with the press of a button. So you can choose the area where you want to convert the handwritten notes and it's able to read my handwriting quite well. In order to save your notes online, you need a Samsung account, otherwise it's saved on the tablet. So these are the five apps that I recommend. If you want something free, go with Microsoft OneNote and Samsung Notes. Samsung Notes is only available on selected Samsung devices. If you want something that can capture your handwriting accurately, it would be incredible. OneNote, Wacom Bamboo Paper and Samsung Notes. If you want an app that can convert your handwriting into editable text, that would be Nabel or Samsung Notes. And if you want your handwriting to have a bit more flair, you can maybe go with Inkcredible. All right, I hope this video is helpful. Let me know in the comment section below what handwriting and note taking apps you are using and how well that's working out for you. I would love to hear from you. See you in the next video. Bye.